hi so the last few times i've like kind of spoken about the various study spaces on campus and um, one of the ones that i currently am in love with and i'm just i feel so lucky that during this like global lockdown that we have access to facilities like this um it's the marquee so it was set up as a social space um a couple of weeks after freshers so that we could still have kind of like a beer garden type of environment but it's undercover and um, completely kitted out there's been dj nights in here at a full-blown bar which i've done a few like done some shifts at too and it's all table service and ordered through the app um and it's great but now since lockdown happened and none of that stuff is happening no drinking no socializing they've opened it up as a study space there is a small rotation of workers kind of keeping it clean and sanitizing stuff as well as like security doing check and tra track and trace so it's really great and i just feel so much better being in here to revise because even though it is an enclosed space it's really well ventilated it's really open and everything is social distance like and because nobody really knows about it nobody really comes here there's barely anyone in here so like never have a problem i've been studying all day i'll probably do another hour or so i've got my arthritis gloves on as well as all my layers just because i do get cold i kind of sat by the door that was my own fault got my wrist support on and study 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 make sure you drink lots of water guys What is the more? What's a pseudonym? 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 Morning. So I thought I'd just kind of um, talk you through kind of how lockdown working is at university and like how much of a difference it is actually making to my day. Back on the bandwagon of like working and studying and stuff so i'm trying to make the effort most days to actually leave my flat um we're lucky enough to still have access to these study spaces so i really want to make the most of them in case that gets taken away from us and also it means that i um have to make myself look representable for the day because i'm going out which is a little goal that i actually set myself maybe a week or two ago which is that i have to dress nice enough to post a picture on social media so yeah i'm gonna be heading to the marquee today to get some studying done and i also have meetings so um i guess what i'm gonna say is like talking more about how other things are still functioning in lockdown um because nothing really has changed to my studying so i have a meeting at 11:30 with my theatre sort committee to basically talk about where we're at, where we're heading with lockdown and just an overall thing. This is a weekly thing and it is online at the moment. And then at one o'clock, I have a meeting with the university accessibility team. So this is to discuss our projects at the moment. So obviously there's the signage that I created. Um, I definitely have some modifications for it in terms of placement and quantity. We're also discussing a map of the um, certain areas at the moment, just central areas of campus that are less accessible. And so we're making a map that is visually more accessible so people can read it quickly and efficiently to know where they need to go. As well as so many other things. Um, a few other smaller tasks that I have to do today are just email my personal tutor um, and a development department just to kind of get the ball rolling on my support for the future making sure that i kind of stay on track and i'm understanding my exams and stuff so yeah it's gonna be quite a good day i'm making a wrap for lunch with avo and i think i'm gonna have a kiev and mash for dinner because i haven't had one in a while and low pressure and then probably watch a movie tonight.
with Aaron because I've got nothing on tonight. So do you guys see? So I have just finished my two meetings for the day. Um, so they were both an hour each and both really successful to be honest. Like I'm so excited for all the stuff that we're getting done. Um, around the university, like I'm actually seeing changes being made and being a part of really, really important decisions. Um, it's just very, very kind of like satisfying and I'm really proud to be a part of such a great team. Annoyingly, even though I made such an effort, such an effort to get a seat with a plug, because of the meeting, my laptop is now on low battery mode, power mode, low power mode, I don't know, that thing. And I didn't bring the charger. Yeah. Anyway, I've got like two, three hours left. And I'm going to hopefully get the next week of one of my modules done. I've been trying for the past two days, but it is so, 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 so long. And my wrist just can't take it. And it's just annoying. But I'm going to keep going and then probably do some later at home as well. But yeah. I got a free Spanish on there as well. I had like a half an hour gap between my two meetings, so I went and got an O hot chocolate. Mm. Key to my heart. It was great. Warm, so I had my banana, my Spanish on there, and my hot chocolate. But make sure you drink water. So that is an average day in lockdown for me. <laughs> so really no different other than the fact that I can't really go to the gym or swimming or anything if I had it booked in. So go into a study space that we're lucky enough to have open. Virtual meetings, but they've been virtual since the summer, like nothing's really changed. And planning for the rest of lockdown. So lockdown sessions, lockdown meetings, making sure that I've got like a good revision schedule and study schedule to stick to. So yeah, and then tonight, me and Aaron are gonna watch Coco. So thank you so much for watching this. I hope this kind of gives like a little bit of insight as to what's happening in universities during lockdown, because like we always get the blame for stuff and I'm not saying that every student is perfect, but Surrey is currently one of the safest campuses and like our overall rate like coronavirus number at the moment this may change when this is published because of when we get updated but when i last checked it it was around the 170 mark and that includes whole cases since the beginning of the semester so even people who've recovered or anything so yeah I'm really happy to be here and I think this is going to be a successful lockdown. So with regard to videos, I'm probably not gonna do um, daily things anymore. It'll be, ooh, it'll be more a case of when I'm having an exciting day, I might do stuff for. Um, I know that I'm gonna be doing another fibro one at some point. I'm gonna talk more about my eco stuff, but it'll all just be when I have the time, so it won't be as exciting as the past week. Thanks guys for watching and tuning in. This has been lockdown week one and we can all get through this. Please reach out to me if you need anything or want any support. I'm always happy just to chat. Other than that, I'll speak to you soon. If you wanna like, share, subscribe, or do anything or nothing, feel free. <laughs> All right, thanks guys, I'll see you soon.